Whoa, where'd you come from? I'm really fast. You want to see fast, huh? Check this out. Unenhanced accelerate. Watch out, strange, mysterious squirrel. Here I come. I can transform, too. Here I come. Oh, no. Oof. That's why they call me the mysterious blue and white squirrel. See you later. On the table, finally ran into Ben 10, Omni Enhanced Overflow, and Omni Enhanced XLR8. Awesome! These guys truly look amped up with Overflow's Omni Blast cannons and XLR8's wheels on his legs. Excited to finally give him a spin. Me too! So let's check out these two figures, see what they are all about. Let's go with Omni Enhanced Overflow first. I'm thinking he's one of the most favorites of everyone. On the back of the card, let's look at stuff. Ben 10. Something is up with the Omnitrix. The mysterious sparks of energy erupting from Ben's trusty watch take his alien transformations to the next level. When Ben transforms, the extra energy affects each of the aliens in his lineup in a cool and unique way, giving Ben an Omni-enhanced upgrade of powers and abilities. Omni-enhanced overflow. Water and electricity don't usually mix, but Omni-Enhanced Overflow is the exception to the rule. With a pair of energized water cannons on his shoulders, this master of splash knows no equal. No matter how heated a battle gets, Omni-Enhanced Overflow is equipped to cool things down in his upgraded state. And of course, collect them all other figures available. I think we've gone through most of these. We've already looked at Omni Enhanced Cannon Bolt. Hello. Omni Enhanced Diamond Head. Have you seen my sword? Omni Enhanced Forearms. Let's smash some stuff. And Omni Enhanced Heat Blast. <laughs> I found this figure over at Walmart. All right, Overflow, let's wash you out. All right, overflow outside of the package with some assembly required. What do we need to do here? Turn around, overflow. All right, there we go. Looks like we're going to have to clip something into that back. And I see that little blue thingy. That must be it. Ah, there's a little clip right there. There we go. That hugs in pretty well. Now we have his Omni Blast cannons to install. Looks like they'll be on simple ball joints. There's one. And two. A little bit tight, you may or may not need forearms for a little help. Got your back, buddy. Wow, so look at Omni Enhanced Overflow now, all put together. There's just something amazingly cool about these Omni Enhanced figures. I think they're enhanced somehow. I wonder. Maybe first we should check out the original Overflow to kind of see what they compare to. There we go. Funny, I would start by saying with the new Omni Blast cannons, but they should be close to the same. Could I get you a drink of water? Haha, <laughs> that never gets old. So good looking enhancement so far. How's the articulation going? I guess there should be shoulders in there. Somewhat limited by those cannons. Then there's elbows. Those will work pretty well, and I bet they rotate too. Can you do anything with your wrists? Okay, the wrists will spin around a little bit. Do you have any waist articulation? Very good, sir. Looks like you do. I see some hinge and post hips you have there. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. There we go, that's a little better. What about knees? I think I see something in there. And they rotate? Well, they do something. It looks painful. Stand back up. All right, so it looks like there's plenty of movement with this figure. What do we have with those Omni Blast cannons? Well, if they're on ball joints, they will move around. However, they don't really do anything. They don't really fire anything. They don't really shoot anything. They don't really fill up anything. They just look cool. That's right. Pretty good looking balanced Omni Enhanced figure overall though. I like the more armored look of these figures. It looks like the new Omni Enhanced Overflow does not have water launchers though, like the original. But you still can take the water shots off of Overflow 
and place them onto the ports of the Omni Enhanced Overflow. For that effect. It's too bad they did not include the water blast with the new Omni Enhanced Overflow, but at least we still have some ports to use them with. Can I have my water back? I guess so. Thanks! It's kind of my action figure kind of thing. I hear ya. I have these. So that would be Omni Enhanced Overflow and Original Overflow. Pick your favorite overflow. Next up, Omni Enhanced Accelerate. Say that five times fast. Omni Enhanced Accelerate. 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 Okay, not that bad. On the back of the card, it's saying Ben 10 Bio from above. Omni Enhanced Accelerate has things to say though. Great image, by the way. Already the fastest alien, Accelerate gets an Omni Enhanced boost in the form of turbocharged energy kicks. These crackling discs form around his feet, propelling him to the brink of light speed. At this rate, Omni Enhanced Accelerate can break his own speed records almost as fast as he can set them. Guess we'll have to slow the camera down quite a bit. Let's remove from package. And outside of the package, Omni Enhanced Accelerate looking speedy and enhanced. Looking good, our classic alien looking to be a xenomorph-like looks. To see how things have changed, let's look at an unenhanced Accelerate. There's quite a difference in these two figures. I'm still faster. Wanna bet? Okay, not yet guys, not yet. Let's first check out Omni Enhanced Accelerate's articulation, see how it holds up to the original. What do we have, head rotation? Of course. Shoulders? Yep. Elbows? Right there. Uh, fingers? They can do some things. Anything in your torso? No. Hips? Anything else? Tail. Alright, you can do some things. I'm wondering if those speedy disc wheels on your feet can remove. They look like they might. Let's test that out. Ah! Ugh! Yep. Ah! So looky there, the wheel rollers do remove, but that would make sense as there are working parts in here. The plastic has to be pieced together somehow. It almost looks like you could probably use this on your original Accelerate. We do have holes on these feet. Might be able to smash those in there. Oh no, his ball feet are just too big. So to place back on, hopefully we can get this in the same position as the other leg. There we go. I hope I got that right. Maybe some extra noodling off camera might be needed. So good look on the Omni Enhanced Accelerate. How do those wheels roll, by the way? Ugh. Sorry. Ugh. Sorry. Let's see, how do we get him more balanced? There we go. Oh, still a little tricky to keep him balanced. If you get him just right, you can get him to spin and roll pretty well on him. Not like a race car or anything, but you can get some rolling going on. You there, camera guy. Bring me my wheels. Oh, okay. I forgot you have this little attachment. Now we race. Okay, so how is it gonna go down? Like this. On your mark, get set, go! Whoa, you guys are really fast. While those two are speeding about, we have a little extra time. Enough time to open up Dr. Animo with mutated Goda Dactyle. On the back of the card, things going on. This is an older released figure, so we have an older bio. And it's one of my favorite villains, Dr. Animo. This evil genius has a master plan for world domination. Transforming Earth animals into mutated monsters, Dr. Animo is determined to use his big brain for the biggest of the smallest of crimes. So let's open up, see how villainous he can be. And there we go, Dr. Animo out. Go to Dactyle out, 
It's funny, I've seen a few Dr. Animo episodes, but not the one with the Gota dactyle. I've got to go back through what I've seen. Maybe I did see it. I do really appreciate how Playmates adds little display stands to the little figures. They did that with Grey Matter, and it was much appreciated. As for Dr. Animo, without the strange helmet, almost looking like the most normalized human from this series so far. We have shoulders, probably a little head rotation, arms with rotation, wrists, hips, knees, and even some cool ankle joints. Oh, and some waist rotation. Geez, Dr. Animo, you're way more flexible than I would have ever thought. Even with that heavy backpack, you might be the most balanced action figure I've played with in years. I am a doctor, you know. All right, don't get cocky. So yeah, good fun villain to uh, give Ben some trouble with. Look out! What's this? Ah! Oh man, you're in my way! <laughs> I win! I don't think so. Go to Dactyle, get them! <laughs> oh dear, dear. And there's what we saw today. I would say my favorite Omni Enhancement would be on Accelerate. Woohoo! As those rolly wheels are a lot of fun to play with. You know it! Omni Enhanced Overflow isn't that bad though either, for one of the splashier Ben 10 aliens. And Dr. Animo, he can do some bad things. Like, go to Dactyle things. You're weird! Ben 10 Omnihanced Action Figures arrived Spring 2018, Omnihanced Accelerate Omni Enhanced Overflow. Two more figures to add to your Omni Enhanced line. They run approximately $9 each. Dr. Animo is still out there as well, and you'll need him to go to Dactyle up your Omnihanced aliens. That is, unless you're looking for something kinder and gentler, maybe find a stink fly instead. That's what I have to say about that. Omni Enhanced. Squirrels can crack a nut with their whiskers. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Ugh, I need to work on those landings.